Did Jesus really die for your sins? First of all, the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, it's symbolic. Heck man, the whole Bible is symbolic. And to be honest, you will only begin to understand the Bible once you have awoken. Those who are still asleep, they take the Bible literally. And I assure you, the Bible is not meant to be taken literally. But Jesus was the first to root Christ consciousness here 2,000 years ago, so you can now do all things through Christ. And as far as Jesus' death and resurrection, it's supposed to symbolize leaving the old state of consciousness and rising and inhabiting your new ideal state of consciousness. When Jesus said to his disciples that he was leaving this earthly plane to go be with the Father, he was not talking about ascending to the clouds. Going to be with the Father, what that really means, is he was referring to leaving the old and inhabiting the kingdom of heaven. So listen, the only thing that saves you is the Christ within you. For you are Christ eternal. But it's the Christ that saves you, which then saves everyone in your world. Just like in Jesus' firsthand reality, it was the Christ that saved him, which saved everyone else in his world. That's why it's symbolic. Jesus died for your sins. You do the same thing. That's why Paul said, I die daily. It's the Christ within you which saves yourself, which then saves everyone in your firsthand reality. Not the man, Jesus. Remember, it's the same Christ within Jesus, which is the same Christ within you. That's why Jesus came here in the first place, to root Christ consciousness here on earth, so you can do all things through Christ. For you are Christ, and it's the Christ that saves you. Just like it was the Christ that saved him, which saved everyone. Don't put Jesus on a pedestal. It's not the man Jesus that saves you. It's just all symbolic, you see. You save yourself. The Christ that you are saves yourself. Not the ego or the body, but the Christ within you. I love you, brother and sister.